Recently, I was in my backyard planning a vegetable garden to impress my wife. As I was staring at that space where the garden would magically appear, my friend, my next door neighbor, Tom, walked in. Tom looked at me and said, you know, Arjun, the best and nearly guaranteed way to start a good garden is to first de-weed it. Take every weed out. And once you do it, then put a plan in place so no weed can come in to keep it weed-free. Then you'll have an amazing garden. I got it. But as I started reflecting, I realized Tom just gave me a bigger wisdom in life. Weeds and negativity are nearly the same. In life, negativity, just like a weed, comes from nowhere. Then they slowly grow and then they take over. Then they define the whole place. And once they do, removing it becomes a totally pain in the backside. Totally. So I felt there are three areas of negativity that comes in my life. And here's my plan for each one of them. The first one is somewhat easy. When I walk into a situation or an environment where a lot of negativity is going on. Example, we walk in, a very deep political discussion is happening. Or somebody is bashing my favorite golf player. All I have to do is get Arjun out of that place and move Arjun somewhere else. That's it. I don't have to be there. You guys can do what you want. I'm gone. The second, now this one gets tougher. This is, let's say, a best friend or somebody who I'm, I care a lot about is having a negative day. Look at negativity as a virus. The person is not negative, but he has a bout of negativity. Historically, at times, I've tried to jump in. I've tried to reason with the person, argue with the person, try to change the person to get the person out of negativity. But what I learned, it's dangerous. In the process, I get dragged into negativity. I need to trust that this person will find his or her way out when the time's right. But short term, I physically am there, but I take my mind out of that place. With my eyes wide open, I start taking myself to a golf course. I start seeing, feeling, experiencing the beautiful, lush fairway, the tee box with all the marigolds and the roses all around. I get ready for the tee shot. I hear the sound of the ball going boom into thin air. See, I'm not in a negative environment anymore. Person is still being negative and mentally gone. And third, this is the most difficult one, when I see negativity in myself. We are all human. It is absolutely normal, natural for us to be negative at times. But that's the time what I realized is my negativity comes from my past. My past experiences worry about that Arjun today, Arjun tomorrow will fall into the same trap. So the past tries to be cautious and brings this bout of negativity to make me act differently, cautious, and not go at all. So all I do is assure my past. Hey, don't worry. I appreciate you caring about me. I appreciate you bringing the learning to me. But just sit back. Enjoy watching this amazing origin. We go into the future with your learning. Positivity ahead, negativity behind. So when I reflect on all this, I realize that myself, all of us, we thrive in positivity. I really want to see this billboard anywhere I go, which says very, very clearly, I think I can and I will be positive. I think I can. I will be positive.